Kent United, sir. I was once just a freakishly handsome freshman nobody. Well, if she didn't have kids, why do they call her Mother Teresa? Maybe she had to change her name for the witness protection program. Anyway, the point is, she's dead, so there's no way she could be our cafeteria lady. The red ghosts are coming! The red ghosts are coming! What if I land? Do if I pee? <laughs> oh my god! Ed won the Stanley Cup! No, uh, I got this from the saloon uptown. I've never seen a milking stool this tall. I can think of at least three reasons why that's not a stool. It doesn't smell, there's no worms in it, and it doesn't look comfortable enough to sit on. You went to a bar? Wow. Wow, what's it like? Oh dang, you gotta see it. They got this one contraption, you give it money, and it plays musical songs. Sure, Ed tells you about his trip uptown and he's a big hero. But I tell you about my trip to Hannibal, Missouri, and you just ignore me. Well, of course, they accidentally left out the part about drinking tea on Aunt Polly's porch. You see? Yeah. And they got a barley pop there that makes your head all cadiddle-pated. We gotta go uptown. Why? Look at Ed. He went uptown and he's got all these uptown stories. He's got this whole uptown thing going on. I don't have any kind of thing. Nothing. Well, what about that thing on your foot? That fell off after I hacked at it with a piece of broken glass. Anyway, we gotta go to the bar tonight. I don't know, Stanford. I'm supposed to read The Great Gatsby for my English class. That is the lamest thing I've ever heard. And I own the complete collection of CDs by Adam Sandler. But I already bought the book. It came with this cool carrying case. Fine. Read The Great Gatsby. Because that's what little babies do. They read. What? Does harder college actually make people dumber? What kind of slander? I'll sue! My advice would be to just ignore it. Your lawyer's already tied up with your suit against Tickle Me Elmo. Not once did he tickle me. Now I can't ignore it. As God is my witness, I will vindicate the reputation of this campus. As long as it doesn't get real pricey. Boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Wow, that was powerful. Well, I guess I better start reading it now. In my younger and more vulnerable years. I've done it. Barter College will play host to a Nobel Prize winning lecturer. Stephen Hawking? We couldn't get Hawking. Turns out the campus isn't handicapped accessible. But we got someone even better. A Nobel Prize winner who can walk. Gustav von Krosen. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he's probably never heard of you either. I want the whole academic community to know there's a genius on this campus. I mean, besides that dog that catches the frisbee in its mouth. Del said he couldn't come. He's always full of lame-ass excuses. Stanford, I have to read a book. Stanford, I have to study. Stanford, I can't swallow that many fish hooks. Lame-ass. Uh, I gotta see some ID, fellas. You're 23? Yeah, I was a big boy, so they skipped me ahead from third grade to sixth grade, which they probably shouldn't have done, because then I failed sixth grade seven times. <laughs> Are you trying to bribe me? No. Forget what you just saw. Feel free to double dip, ladies! <laughs> oh my god, did you lose your kitten? No. It's a flyer for Gustav von Clausen. He lost his kitten? Nobody lost a kitten. Someone of academic merit is finally coming to barter for a series of lectures. I hope there are kittens in The Great Gatsby. I read The Great Gatsby when I was 12. Wow, you can remember that far back? Well, I have no memories before the age of 19. You're 18. Well, who are you? Mom, there's a strange man in my bedroom. Welcome to Barter College, Professor Van Clausen. How was your flight? Do you mean bus ride? Bus ride? 
My assistant, Linda, must have screwed up. You did great. You were supposed to have a first-class ticket. You just have to suck up the tweed boy. Tell you what, all your costs this week come. Get his credit card number when you sleep with him. You don't really have to sleep with him. I can hear everything you're saying, and you can forget about my credit card because I lost my wallet while I was lugging this heavy bag all by myself. I guess you'll have to take a check. Man, everyone was in that bar. I saw a priest, a rabbi, a guy with a duck on his head. Sweet! Uh, this doesn't look anything like you. Uh, I had that aging disease when I took that picture. Okay. Brave young man. What's up, dude? Do you like work here or something? I've never seen you in here before. Let's see some ID. <laughs> Professor Van Clausen! Wow! Drinks around the house for Nobel Prize winners. Hey, I guess that makes me a Nobel Prize winner. Let's see here. What do people in bars order? I'll have a gin and bonnet. No, wait, a fuzzy novel. You know what? Just give me a penile colitis. Hey, sweet! I have a girlfriend! I'm gonna score! And safely. What the? Oh, there are no more pages. Oh my god, I did it! Hey, Joe, I just read a whole book and nothing popped up. Well, except the revelation that we're all striving towards something we'll never achieve. What did you say? Uh, something about corn? Wow, you read a big boy book. My brain feels different. It hurts. That could be the awakening of your intellect, or possibly a tumor. Either way, it's good for me. Thanks. Well, I should go work on my book report while everything's still fresh in my, um, thing. So, Chancellor Reichard, uh, we'll see you Friday at Van Clausen's lecture. Oh, did he win a Nobel Prize? <laughs> we get so many of them here, I can barely keep track. Anyway, for me, it's not about prizes. It's about the scientifical stuff. Toodles. Van Clausen's reputation is going to do wonders for barter. I've got the whole academic community coming to see him do his Nobel Prize winning experiment. <laughs> then you will eat your words, Dean Beat. And I will be the one feeding those words to you with a spoon or something. Oh, God, let me do that one over. Again, your life is not a movie. That's the kind of talk that will get you a one-way ticket to the cutting room floor. Woohoo! Here's your beer, Nobel Prize winner. Now check this out. <laughs> That dude's not a Nobel Prize winner. That dude's the king of Nobel Prize winners. Last call, everyone. Drink up, hook up, throw up. <laughs> throw up. <laughs> Cookies on the couch, jellos on the dog. I hope the jello is green. Key out! Drunk? Them pigs! Lousy house ruined my life. One of them stole my best girl. He was the better man, though. Had brains and looks. How could I compete? <laughs> oh, I knew grocery shopping at this hour would lead to disaster. Gotta go. Get me some cheese fries. Tell that dude, lend me his guitar, start a band. Look at that idiot. That's not an idiot. That's the Nobel Prize winner. Write our own song, five drummers, kick ass. Steve! Jump 
Somebody help me! I have been assaulted! Just like my pretzels! <laughs> I'll be here all night! No, really! Waiting for the cops! They don't care about me because I am foreign. Dear God, if you could somehow see it in your heart to the way my leg spasms for just a few... Wake up, you lame asses! Get up and party! That's more like it! made me do now. I was on a roll. Dude, you missed it. Last night I was the king of uptown. Everyone in the bar was calling me by name. Professor Clownface. That's great, but I'm trying to write a paper. You totally missed it, but that's okay. I'll take you under my wing tonight. Make sure they treat you right. No short jokes or wisecracks about your huge snobs. Have you always been this annoying? What's wrong with you? It's like I don't even know you anymore. You're all like Mr. Study or something. In the conservatory. With the rent. Maybe I just want to make something of myself. I mean, use my brain to distinguish myself from the world of ideas and... Ideas. Look, if you want to be a nobody, that's fine. But my parents are paying a lot of money for me to be here, so I'm not going to just sit around and study. I'm going uptown. Bye, nobody. Bye, Mrs. Nobody. I said that Mrs. Nobody thing because you love that book so much you should marry it. I think that was implied. Yes, Linda? Uh, no, it's Alex Butler from DB Magazine. I'm out here in the lobby. Oh, good. Send him in. Uh, no, wait a minute. Have him sit out there for a while. Tell him I'm in the middle of something. Make it seem like I've got important stuff to do. You do realize I'm the guy who's here to see you? You invited me to see Van Clausen perform his Nobel Prize winning experiment? Oh, yes, of course. Have Linda send you in. But not right away. Tell her I'm in the middle of something really important. I can't wait to get my paper back. I read the whole book. I even circled and looked up the words I didn't know. Great job, Dell. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I left a few words out. What I meant to say was I thought I had a great job until I read your paper. It's so bad I'm going to quit teaching. No. Oh. Stupid school, only one kiss ass guy at my lecture. The groupies. What? I will destroy whoever did this. Hey, dude, it's beer 30. I got that off a hat. Well, well, well. Look who we have here Mr. Uptown. Wait, that's me. Oh, so now you're stealing my name, too! No, you were right. I've learned my lesson. The world of ideas can be an intellectual wasteland. Oh, why didn't I put stuff like that in my paper? Good to see you finally got your head on straight. He's with me. No problem, Professor. Jeez, this is nothing like Moulin Rouge. Don't worry. Just stick with me. Everyone loves me in this place. Hey there, Chief. How's it going, Captain? Looking good, Conquistador. Wow, Stanford, you've really done well for yourself. You're on a first-name basis with everyone here. What up, Princess Di? <laughs> what a jerk. Hey, do you know who I am? No. I'm Professor Gustav von Clownface. <laughs> Leave him alone! He has got that aging disease! <laughs> Wait a second. That was the professor. I don't know who the hell you punks off, but unless you plan on spending at least $60 on skunk beer, you better get out of here. What are we gonna do? We gotta handle this delicately. At 
at least people uptown knew your name. Nobody in my English class even knows who I am. Well, this one girl calls me Move. This was a disaster. Maybe I gotta set more realistic goals. Like your whole read one book and become a genius thing. Well, there's that physics thing Joe was talking about. You wanna go to that? Dude, are you kidding? Who won the physics award in high school? Mm, Charlie Grady? Yeah, but who sat on him? <clears throat> uh, Barter's own Nobel Prize winner appears to be a little late. So, uh, in the meantime, please enjoy the amazing skills of Roscoe! Ow! Figures. I bet there never was a Nobel Prize winner at this school. No Nobel Prize winner in his right mind would set foot on this campus. Oh, you're wrong. You'll see. Dean Earhart. I can't find Van Clausen anywhere. Have you tried looking for him? Yes. Well, I'm out of ideas. Damn it! Couldn't he at least have made a token appearance? You know, like I do at my mom's nursing home. There he is. That's the Nobel Prize winner? Yes! Yes, it is! Hey, everybody, put your hands together. These seats look good. Finally, getting the attention I deserve. Thank you. I know many of you might think I'm cool just because I was uptown. And you're right. Thank you. Great. I pulled it off. Now, whoever you are, get off the stage. Do your experiment! <laughs> oh, my God. What is he doing? That was Mercury. Now check this out. The rumors are true. How could I have ever doubted Dean Zeke? I can see the headline now. Barter College transforms Nobel Prize winner into complete idiot. Mm, it's a little long. I can trim it down, egghead. I can't watch anymore. No, wait. That's just the warm-up guy. Nobel guy is coming. Oh, here he comes now. Why, hello. I'm Professor von German guy. I like science think. Barter makes you smarter. Hey, Dean. I read a whole book. Well, I guess it's back to being a nobody. Well, that's okay. We'll be nobodies together. Yeah. Hey, it's the guy who drank the mercury. Sweet. I'm back. Oh. And look who's with him. It's the guy who wrote the paper that made the professor quit. <laughs> oh, that's me. They say it's so bad that if you read it, you'll go insane. Hey, I'm feeling better. Take this tag off my toe. <laughs> oh, 